Hey, this is David from Self Rescue Machines. Really just starting this channel to start the documentation process of really building out our dream ambulance into a full-time camper slash overlander. Today is really just a walk around of the stock uh, setup that it is so that, you know, we can get a starting point to show the before and after of everything. Why an ambulance? I mean, they're kind of an odd vehicle, but if you think about it, they have an all aluminum box. They're super, super sturdy. They're rollover rated. They have a ton of outside storage. Super solid, great starting point, especially if you're gonna do any offer. What we have here is a 2005 Ford F450. Um, it's a four wheel drive. It's the six liter diesel. And uh, I got so many plans for this thing. But, you know, so far what I've done is I've gone through and taken out the red emergency lights, added some LEDs, taken out the light bar. Up front, I've added this grill guard, painted the front bumper black, kept the sirens, of course, added these LEDs that are both amber and white because the stock headlights are pretty weak. We've started to take off some of the striping all the striping is eventually gonna go when we're gonna rhino line or raptor line the entire thing. What makes the box unique for this particular model is you can actually stand up and a lot of the ones that have the Ford truck front uh, have the lower uh, ceiling height. And the other thing it has is a full size pass through. So those were two key points in really getting this thing dialed. It is a little shorter box. It's a 12 foot box as opposed to a 14 foot box but uh, I've got some creative plans to be able to make up that extra room. We took it on our first 1400 mile road trip to Virginia. So we wanted to camp in it. So uh, I did start taking some of the stuff out of the rear, like all the cot mounts are, are taken out of the rear. I took off some cabinet doors. This is where there used to be a jump seat and under it is the inverter. I actually added that battery for that road trip so we'd have an extra battery. Other than that, it's just started taking out some of the cushions and some of the overhead stuff, but really haven't gutted it yet. I wanted to make it kind of livable for that road trip. In case anyone hasn't seen the inside of the electrical system in the ambulance, that's what they look like. And that'll all be coming out. Now we'll go up front, check out the front. Inside was pretty clean. Uh, it has a 140,000 miles on it. I did add this uh, gauge set so I can keep track of the vitals. Tire pressure monitoring, wireless. I added a double DIN uh, touchscreen stereo uh, with additional front and rear uh, parking cameras, which was kind of cool because seeing up over that is pretty tough sometimes. Here's the main center console here that's all gonna come out. Um, of course, I am going to leave the siren and PA in because why not? It's fun, right? One of the things a lot of people do on these is they do keep them fairly stock inside. And what they'll do is they'll add a sink, a stove to the existing cabinets and just uh, put a bed here on the bench. Unfortunately, our bench isn't long enough to do a couch bed style. I can see the appeal of leaving all the stock cabinetry. I mean, these are really nice cabinets up here. It does have a little counter. You could probably build that out, and a lot of people do. Uh, the, the thing that I'm trying to accomplish is, you can see there's an additional four inches of space behind the walls where all the wiring is and everything. And I feel like that's just lost space. The other thing is the, these are really low. They're meant to be seated and use all these. So if I put a sink here, it's gonna be way too low for me to use. So I'm gonna go with the route of completely gutting it down to the bare studs, aluminum studs, tear the floor out, spray foam insulation, the entire thing, and rebuild from the ground up. This will allow me to build the complete custom cabinet system, bed, shower, sink, toilet, AC, heater, and it'd be really difficult to do that with the stock cabinets in place. Believe it or not, this is the second one that we've owned. The first one that we had, uh, we only had for a short time before it was completely totaled by a falling tree here on our property. Um, cut to sad picture of ambulance crushed by tree. So 
looking forward to getting started, digging in, tearing out everything that I want to save first, and then just get medieval with the rest.